it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I am super excited there today and I mean super excited to bring you a Thornbridge collaboration beer with Stone Brewing Company in America. Now Thornbridge Brewing Company they've been going since 2005 in Bakewell in Derbyshire producing fantastic fantastic iconic beers You've probably heard of Jaipur. Incredible beer. Stone Brewing Company in America. I don't really know when they started. Maybe around the same time. They were producing, the other side of the pond, were producing very similar, iconic, individual like beers that, that people were loving. Rather than just the plain old lagers and in America and, and the plain old bitters that we were getting in the UK. They were doing things differently. Um, so it's great then to see that they've collided here with a collaboration and it's called West Side Glory. It's a West Coast IPA, 7% ABV and it's just launched into Asda, 440 milliliter can. I'm really hoping this is going to be a proper Westy, proper bitterness from the hops. This could be great, this could be really good. Let's get it out, gold lid on the tin. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. So what am I looking for with a West Coast IPA? It doesn't necessarily have to be hazy. This one doesn't so far look hazy. In fact, there we go. That carbonation has sorted itself out and we're given a beer This is what it's all about for me. I fell in love with beer because I fell in love with West Coast style IPAs. I was well, in, well and truly heavily invested in the IBU Wars. I'll talk about the IBU Wars a little bit later on. Um, it's international bittering units um, in short. I'll talk about it later on. Um, but I was in I was heavily invested in that because because I love bitterness in beer. I learned very quickly that I was a savoury sort of person, and I never really was a fan of overly sweet stuff in life. Good levels of carbonation, a bright golden coloured beer, two finger white head. You can pick this up for three pound in Asda. Or it's on the deal, the, the, the four for three. So this works out on a four for three deal at £2.25 a can if you buy three other beers. Absolutely fantastic. It's either four for three or three for two. Can't quite remember now. April 2024, Asda have released a load of new beers into their stores. Um, yeah, no sediment in this one. Let's get that aroma then. Uh, yeah, and for me, it's like 2010 all over again. Unintentional rhyme there. Mm. These sort of beers, they, they, they get your nose in. You're like, how far can I get my nose into this glass? Because you're like... The bitterness is hidden. You get orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, lime, pine needle. But you can't smell bitterness. You can smell the hops, but you can't smell the bitterness. You taste the bitterness. You feel the bitterness. So, so it's almost like like your your mind is like trying to stick your nose in as far as it possibly can to because you know it's going to be bitter. Let's get in. Cheers, everybody.
Yeah, it's blooming good. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, stone the crows. Stone the crows, everybody. Mm. Very clean, bright, wonderful tasting beer. Very refreshing. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. Fantastic, fantastic bitterness on the back end. Oh yeah, thank goodness for that. Um, real kind of like bitter grapefruit, like chucking your face into some grapefruit. Lots of bitterness in there. A little bit of sweetness. It's like cutting the grapefruit in half, sprinkling a little bit of sugar on the half of the grapefruit, and then smashing that grapefruit into your face. So you're getting a combination of sweetness and bitterness and sharpness of the fruit all at the same time. Even though this, there will be no grapefruit in this beer, it's hops that's producing that flavour. Oh, it's brilliant. It's fantastic. So I went to a, a beer festival recently, and I was, I was, it was like an, like in between. So it was like the afternoon session finished, and the evening session was about to start. So what happens generally is all the brewers get together, they're all having a chat, they're all talking. And the con the conversation was, it was about the, the, the celebration almost of the, 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 the return of the West Coast IPA. Everybody was really pleased that West Coast IPA seemed to be making a big old comeback in the beer scene. And... And my, my eyebrows, listening to that conversation, my eyebrows lit up. My eyebrows were like, oh, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. Because we had years, we had years and years of New England IPA. And New England IPA, as much as I liked it at the beginning, it becomes so boring at the end. It was such a boring... So I, I didn't even want to talk about it at the end. Like, see, by... by end of 2022 all of 2023 i didn't really want to talk about new england ipa because it was done to death it was just completely like like just everybody was doing it yeah it was a great style it still is a great style but it's all everybody wanted to brew and and it become really boring because there's so many other beer stuff belgian german West Coast, Saison, Stout, Porter, Bitter. There's so much. The beer thing was massive. And just to keep flogging New England IPA was like, oh, man, just like, how much more can I talk about passion fruit and mango? You know, how much more can I possibly talk about those, 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 those two things? And I tell you what I did notice. I went to Weatherspoons on the weekend. There's now... There's now like the spirit companies are adding like passion fruit and mango to their spirits. And I'm standing there using the urinal because when you're in Weatherspoons having a pee, there's always like a, a sign of their beer right in your face. And I was looking at these spirits thinking, this all stems from craft beer. These spirits here with passion fruit and mango in. It all stems from craft beer. It all stems from like New England IPA and like like and, and how much like how far is passion fruit and mango? How far is it going to go? These Kiora style New England IPAs. These now these Kiora style spirits. What is going on? Like so. Here is to the triumphant return of West Coast IPA and long. May it continue. This is a great beer. A wonderful beer. Nicely carbonated. A little bit of sweetness. Fantastic bitterness on the back end. Just great drinkability. Bitter. Grapefruit. Orange peel. Fleshy blood orange. Yay! Well done Stone, well done Thornbridge, 
a great 7% ABV collaboration here. I really like it. I like it enough to give it a well done Asda too. Asda, Asda of almost like, Asda, well, I think I would rather, if you, if you ask me right now, after this beer release, where would I rather shop for my beer, Tesco or Asda? I'd be saying Asda. I reckon Asda have just jumped in front of Tesco here. They've, Tesco got a bit like, I think Tesco got a bit bored. Tesco got a bit bored. They, they didn't know what to do past New England IPA. And, and fair play to the guys at Asda. They've really, like, like, let's look at the next beer. The next beer is a stout. From Northern Monk. I mean, so you can go to Asda now. You can buy a New England IPA. You can buy a stout. There's numerous other beers that they brought out. And it's just a little bit more different than Tesco. I think maybe the Tesco beer buyer is a big fan of New England IPA and like that's all you seem to get in Tesco these days and it's all a bit boring so yeah well done Asda um I, I'd definitely be if I was in the you know like oh I need to buy some beer for a barbecue I'll be going to Asda not Tesco um yeah nine out of ten comment subscribe boom cheers